Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is a very special episode of Factorio One Per Minute. What you are looking at in front of you is at least part of a factory designed to produce one of every single in game item each and every minute, um, including fluids. The only item it does not produce one per minute is rocket parts because they don't go on a belt and they don't appear anywhere outside the rocket silo and kind of the blueprint deconstruction planner and blueprint book um, I've kind of put them in the system in a different way if you want more details about how this was built you can watch my entire Factoria one per minute series or you can just watch episode 20 um, which is a very brief base tour and explanation of what each thing does in the meantime Let's turn this thing on and see how long it lasts. Thirteen hours forty-six minutes um, and three seconds, just because that's the time every minute that it checks to see if it actually has made. So um, thirteen times sixty plus forty-six is eight hundred and twenty-six minutes. I don't think that's bad, considering that's eight hundred and twenty-six Power Armor Mark Twos, eight hundred and twenty-six rocket silos, eight hundred and twenty-six atomic bombs, everything like that each and every minute. Our culprit, it turns out, was batteries. Um, now, I did leave the thing running firstly overnight. Um, I had a brief check on, in on it at about seven hours or so. Then I went to work, came back, and it had stopped. Um, so by that point, everything's backed up again. In my testing, though, um, the batteries, I suspect, were lacking due to a lack of sulfuric acid, which um, in the past at least has in turn been due to a lack of sulfur, in turn due to a lack of petrol, in turn due to um, just, you know, that, you know how everyone's bumped into the problem with the three oil fractions. One of them fills up and then the other two don't produce. Um, I thought my system was able to cater for that, Apparently not, but I wasn't here to see it actually go wrong. Um, there will be links in the description to um, a version of this map that you can play for yourself, a version of this map that you can play for yourself without any mods. Um, so the mods I have used are Vesipoli's Aqua Farm to automate fish, tree cloning to automate a collection of raw wood, um, and creative mode not actually to build it, but only for the purpose of getting rid of the materials once a minute. So I've got these void chests up here. In the non-creative version, these are requester chests that will slowly fill up this network. And there's a similar thing down here for fluids as well. Um, so yes, versions to both of those. I'll put a version, uh, oh, sorry, I'll put a link to the spreadsheet I used to calculate all the ratios. And if I think of any other links to put in the description, I will also put those in the description as well. Some final thoughts to take away from this. Um, I now kind of hate the main bus system. Um, otherwise, if I were to do this again, um, I would probably go for some more optimised builds. Um, a lot of the so at the moment this map is at about 400 hours of playtime well over probably a hundred hours of that is actually just testing and tweaking and rebalancing belts um, so what would be really good is if I could speed the game up run it all at you know two times speed or four times speed just to reduce that portion of it um, other things that might be nice to do is instead of building exactly to my ratios that are in the spreadsheet, maybe have overbuilt. Um, so that way, you know, 
we could technically produce more than one of everything per minute. Um, what I have done, and you can test this for yourself. I, oops, I'm not. There we go. Um, take it out the map view. Uh, yeah, you can test this for yourself if you want to play through it. Um, this combinator here, I think I mentioned this in the previous episode. It currently says Z is 60. Um, that tells this counter here that there are 60 ticks in one second. If you were to bump that up to, say, 66, it would tell the counter that there are actually 66 ticks in a second instead of 60, and then you would effectively be producing one of every item every one minute and six seconds, I think. 1.1 minutes. Um, you just slow it down by 10%. So I suspect that there is a sweet spot, might be 66, might be 63, might be 120, um, but I suspect that there is a sweet spot that this will just run indefinitely. But I am going to say that this map is now finished. Um, there will be a new series coming out shortly um, with something very unrelated to buses. Um, keep an eye out for Factorio Railyard. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.